Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome to the Ramble. It goes from now until midnight Eastern Time, Eastern Daylight Time here on the, uh, uh, let's see, the right coast of the United States. And uh, uh, the first part of our program tonight, uh, we have a guest. We have somebody we love to talk to. Here he is right now. Ladies and gentlemen, boy, you look really, you look so learned today. <laughs> now, last time I talked to you, you were going to, this is Will Durst, by the way, you, you, you were going to get a haircut. Um, I think I did. It, really? Yeah, three uh, more months, I'll get another one. I, I, I don't know what to say, but it didn't work. <laughs> uh, uh, I it's, know. It doesn't look like a cut so much. As uh, it, no, it was a trim. Did you? Are you trying for that learned look? Are you trying for that? Uh, what can we call it? The, you call it wizened. Look. I, yeah, wiz, uh, uh, sage. Sage. Wizened. I uh, see. I'm going for the mad professor look. The, <laughs> I guess. I guess as you get older, I guess you can build a character around that, right? I, I think you have no choice but to. Well, I guess. What's you're... What's the phrase? You know, at the age of fifty, everybody gets the face they deserve. <laughs> and we got a couple of years on the fifty there. So. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, uh, but uh, you're you're looking good. You're looking happy. Is so your, are you? Is your health okay? Everything. Yeah. So far, knocking for Micah, everything's good. Yeah, my health's uh, okay. You know, got a few little little problems you know but nothing yeah. nothing deadly yeah. I'm, i keep waiting you know i keep saying i keep <laughs> I, I keep waiting for that thing that's going to kill me right and i go to the doctor hey your cholesterol's fine hey, your heart's fine uh, your psa levels up a little bit go see the urologist i go see the urologist he said don't worry about it just take another psa test in a couple of months don't worry if you, if something you do have a little touch of the cancer which you get in that part of your body we just give you hormones. Don't worry about it. Go home. Really? A it, touch of the cancer now? Well, well, in the prostate, you can get a touch of the cancer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, and that was, I, I used to like talk about that with little Richard. It was his excuse for not showing up somewhere. I had a touch of the cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Which little Richard? Huh? Which little Richard? Little Richard. N not my little Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Penniman. Richard Penniman. Yeah. Woo! -hoo! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just read that book. Uh, Tune in. Yeah, have you read that? No. About the Beatles' early days. No. Yeah, it's they played with little. Pages. Eight hundred pages from fifty-eight to sixty-two. Yeah. Does it even? It ends on December thirty-first, nineteen sixty-two, just as the Beatles are about to explode. Yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah, and uh, Richard, I guess little Richard was in there because I think they played with him in Berlin or in. The, the Amber, Reaper, yeah. in, in the in the Reaper Botten or the Bot Reaping or whatever that very was called. Very good, very yeah. good, yeah. Uh, I, I, all the stuff I remember that I don't need to, and all the stuff I can't remember that I should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have numbers up in my head. I have my grandmother's phone number, Greenfield six five seven eight six. Well, don't give it what? out; they might call her. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they. I, I hope they do. That would be interesting. My eighty. My number in San Francisco was Garfield six, something one one two I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, four one one two something like that. Why? Why yeah. is that burned into well, our brain? I have no idea, but we we don't remember the ones with all numbers, but we remember the ones with those names they used to give to them first, like Garfield and yeah yeah. What were Greenfield. some of the Greenfield yeah. was another one. Greenfield six. Yeah, and they just changed those to numbers eventually, you know. Anyway, so uh, hi, you're doing okay. Uh, how is so far the, how, so good? Everything's uh, yeah progressing. How's the Trying country? How's the country doing, Will? Oh man, it's hard to tell because I live in this bubble in San Francisco. 
Uh, is it a bubble? It, it's oh, it's it's such a bubble that we talk about Trump in theoretic terms. You know, yeah, it's it's not like it actually affects us. The traffic is worse. You know, uh, scooters lying around the streets. Yeah. Do you have a scooter problem? No, we don't have a scooter problem. Uh, no, because in New York, I'll tell you, as uh, full of cars as New York is, the cars that it's full of are Ubers and taxis and things like that. Most of us don't own cars. You know, uh, there's no if uh, there's no reason for me to own a car. I have to pay for the car. I have to pay for the insurance, which is extremely right. high in New York City, and then I have to put it in a garage at eight hundred dollars a month. So it's just better that whenever you need a car, you rent it, or if you need a car going downtown, you get a, a, a taxi or whatever. So do you do Uber? I don't do Uber, no, no. Or Lyft? No, huh? no. I, I don't, do, I'll tell you what I do. Most of the time in New York, I do the subways, because that's the most convenient form of transportation. If you're gonna get from uptown to downtown, you're better off taking a subway than a cab. Okay, I'll, in I'll terms beat of I'll, time. Huh? In terms of time, in terms yeah. of time, yeah. It's time management. Yeah. So I mean, uh, and and yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind riding with the people. You know, they they they're they're pretty good these days. They're not disgusting and vile. Yeah, we love being called the people. Yeah, yeah. the people, the people. <laughs> but um, uh, I, but you, so you say you live in this bubble, so you guys but, just. But New York is a bubble too. Uh, yeah, but I mean, but, but, it's it's a more porous <laughs> bubble. Well, it's it's a bubble where you feel more confident that everybody around you holds the same values you do. Right. Okay. Um, and now I had a problem the other day, and I mentioned this on the air, and it it was an ethical problem. I went to my urologist who literally has his balls in my hand, in his hands, okay? And he revealed himself as having voted for Trump. A doctor, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going, I have an ethical problem here, you know? I mean, he's a good urologist, I like him. I've had nothing but shitty urologists. He has a great bedside manner. His only hey, deficit is that he voted for Trump. Yeah. Yeah, because it's all about the money for him. I guess so. Yeah. You know. Uh, but then again, he said, well, my taxes have gone up. You know, he said, but I uh, I like him. And I, went, I didn't say anything. He had his balls in my, in my balls. But I in like him? Huh? He said, but I like him? Yeah. 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 Well, there's Now, a for a New Yorker, I found that unusual. Okay. There's a certain class of educated person who does not like uh, giving, because they worked hard to get where they are, and they do not like giving handouts, and they see free citizenship to people who weren't born here as a handout. Yeah. Did you see, though, what, uh, uh, what uh, um, um, what's his name? Um, hold on a second. David Lynch had to no. say about Trump? No. Now, I don't understand this entirely because, you know, let's face it, David Lynch is about, uh, uh, I don't know, he's a little off kilter. All yeah, right. But that's that's what we appreciate. That's what we appreciate about him. About him. Just, what he yeah, said uh, is the co uh, creative <laughs> praised the former celebrity apprentice, apprentice host. I love the way they put this because it was off of a show business uh, blog. Uh, this weekend, he said he is potentially being one of the greatest presidents in history because he has disrupted the thing so much. Now, yeah. is he? They say he's praising him. I'm beginning to, as I read this, it's not like he's exactly praising him. He said one of the greatest presidents in history because he has disrupted the thing so much. Yeah, that can be taken two ways. That can be taken a lot of ways. Like, he's been disruptive, he's been hurtful, and so on. Therefore, uh, he will be one of the greatest presidents. Yeah, that's that's kind of scary. Yeah, it, I, I think he said it as right. faint praise to Trump, hoping that Trump would then tweet and say how wonderful he was, or whatever. I just wish he'd make another movie. 
uh, uh, yeah. Well, he did the TV series, the Twin Peaks TV. It was series. awful. I couldn't, I couldn't get through it. But some people said it was genius. Well, episode eight was. Episode eight. I'll have to go watch episode eight. Episode eight is non-narrative. It's a, uh, it's it's kind of like exactly what you expect of David Lynch. So you watched the whole thing. Watched the whole thing. Did you I really? I made watch the whole thing. Yeah. She has never forgiven me. Uh, really? I mean, it's, it, it, I think Dana Gould put it best. Dana Gould was on a radio show, or maybe it was Facebook or something. But Dana Gould said, just tell a story. Yeah. Yeah. Because there was, you know, I made it all the way to the end. And uh, Don't you feel then, terrible, though, when you've, you've watched, given something your you're all and it, it sucks after it's through? It's kind of like, that's why I don't read books or novels. <laughs> <laughs> no, I read books. I mean, I read books on su- on subject matter and things like that. But I don't read novels because with a novel, if you get to the end of it and it sucked, you wasted your time. Yeah. Well, that's that's the risk you take, and that's why a lot of a lot of the kids don't read is because really that's that's the end. Really, I invested ten hours reading this and and that's that's what you give me yeah. well i just watched uh, all 13 episodes of the new luke cage on netflix i just binge watched it wow how was it? It, it it it's it's quite good it, it it has points at which you say this is really terrific and then at the end i didn't like the way it ended it just uh. was terrible uh. have uh, you seen any movies uh uh you know a usual like the Invin- incredibles 2 you know things like that how was that? That's good. I like that. You know, huh? they, 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 those uh, the, 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 uh, Brad Bird, who does those films, is very, right. very good. He also did, I, I, the huh? little lady. He did. Uh, he did uh, Iron Giant, and then he did uh, uh, The Incredibles, and he did Ratatouille. You know, he did all the all the good Pixar stuff. Ratatouille know? with uh, yeah. our little buddy Pat Oswalt. Yeah. Pat yeah, yeah. yeah. So what do you think now? The uh, Supreme Court today, did you hear about the Supreme Court decision? No, oh, I just got up. You see, you just got in California. He just got up. It's like nine o'clock out there. It's noon here. So the news breaks. The Supreme Court ruled that uh, Trump's uh, travel ban was legal. That it wasn't discriminatory against religions. It was a five to four decision. Of course. With uh, Kennedy swinging, of course, the other way. So uh, you know, so now Trump is you, his want. Look for the bragging Trump tweets today, about you know how yeah. much uh, how how right he is in all of this and so on. You know, it's uh, this is what happens now when we have a packed Supreme Court. Yeah, this is the start of a yeah a I mean, downward slide. If Gorsuch had gotten onto the Supreme Court as well, he should have. Uh, then this would have gone the other way. Well, it's the Democrats' fault they didn't fight. Yep. They yeah. thought that uh, Hillary would be able to pick her own. I bet you Hillary told them not to fight it because she wanted to pick her own Supreme Court justice. She didn't want to be stuck. I, I don't know. But they should have fought for every single inch. Yeah. And they should not have just just giving away the seat, Get, which is what they did. Well, they the gave only, away the seat. The only reason the Republicans win anything is because the Democrats are pussies. That's pretty much it. Is, yeah, isn't that and then it? and then when the Dem- when when liberals do stand up and refuse to serve uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, then everybody goes, "Ooh, they're intolerant." Fuck you. Yeah, we're intolerant. Fuck you. Yeah. No, I think they probably should have just said to her that we don't want to serve you because uh, we were concerned about your health. You should lose some weight. <laughs> yeah. 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 We were just concerned about her, her health. Uh, we, uh, we want her to live long and prosper, and uh, she's too fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, now you're opening a can of worms. Well, now, now people are going to be pissed at me. I'm a fattest, right? But my feeling is you get fat, you die. Okay, wow. that's it, plain and simple. I'm trying to save your life. Okay. I just well, told a friend of mine who's going in for a stent and an angioplasty. I said, "Diet, you fat fuck." 
you know, because well, I love this guy and I don't want to see him dead. That's why I oh. want him to die it. No, yeah, yeah. I, 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 where where is the line of demarcation? Well, I took I my, I drew my line at the sand when I hit uh, two hundred and forty four pounds. So I took off. Where were you two hundred forty four pounds? I know. All of a sudden, well, you know, years pass by. You gain a couple of pounds every year. Before you know it, you're a fat fuck. When were you two hundred forty four pounds? Uh, uh, just a while back, about a, two years ago, and then I went on a, I went on a low carb diet, and I've kept it down around a hundred and ninety ever since. Uh, yeah, it's I'm two hundred five. I've been 205 for the last 10 years. Well, you're how tall? I'm 5'9". Yeah, 5'9". See, I'm 6 feet. So, yeah. yeah. I'm built like a fire plug. You're 209? 205. 205, yeah. yeah. So you're a little overweight there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, but it, not so much so. I mean, I lost but, I, lo but, I lost 55 but. pounds, and I, I feel like shit. Anyway. <laughs> so, so... Uh, I'm 205. I'm about uh, 15 pounds overweight, I would say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'd like to get back to my original weight of six pounds, seven ounces. Uh, yeah, uh, that's the old joke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love old jokes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but would people be able to turn me away from restaurants because I'm overweight? I think, you know, like bars can should say, hey, you've had too much to drink. Right. They should say to a fat person, you've had too much to eat. <laughs> no, I'm serious. This is for health. Because you put, get a guy who's overweight, eventually his, 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 uh, his arteries are going to jam, you know? Isn't that free choice, though? Yeah, it's free choice, but it's also my choice to care about them. And well, not go work. ahead, care about them, but just don't restrict my rights. No, I'm not going to tell you you can't eat. But I mean, well, that's what you're telling Sarah, listen, Sarah Huckabee listen, look, Sanders. Look, let's talk about this Sarah Huckabee Sanders not getting served <laughs> bullshit. Uh, when I years ago, and I've told this story before, I was went to see Peter Cook and Dudley Moore's show, okay, on Broadway, and in the seat in front of me is Henry Kissinger. <laughs> so at the end of the show, you drove a pencil D through his Dudley, ear. Uh, Peter Cook and Dudley Moore came out and said, is there a doctor in the house? You know, and then they said, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Henry Kissinger. And I booed right in back of him into his ear. Boo. And four people jumped me. Really? <laughs> yeah. And people said, to me, why did you why did you boo him? And I said, because if you remember, the Vietnam War was going He's on. He's a warmonger. Yeah. He sh none of that admin nobody in that administration should go anywhere and have the idea that everybody thinks they're wonderful. You know, so there have to be dissenters there. They 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 constant they've, reminder, a constant reminder. And so I think that what they did to Sarah Huckabee Sanders is is just desserts. Hey, you're part of this whole thing. Uh, and we don't believe in, in what you're doing, you know, and we're not going to serve you. But what happens when some bakery decides not to bake a cake for a gay cake? Oh, uh, uh, well, oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. A somewhat different thing. I mean, they're two different equations. One is a protest against politics, you know, and against your politics. The other is a discrimination because of your sex, creed, whatever. Uh, but I would maybe stand by that guy if he really tr truly had a religious belief that made him not want to make a cake for the gay guys because they could just go downtown and get across town and get a cake made somewhere else. It's not like they couldn't get the cake made, okay? So uh, I think this guy in this particular case, uh, he, I, I, don't, I don't stand by his right. I think he's a bigot, you know. But nevertheless, if he has a religious belief that being gay is an abomination in the eyes of the Lord, then I'll go buy my cake somewhere else. Why do I want to pay you to make my fucking cake? Yeah, why do I want to give you money? Yeah. Exactly. I mean... Uh, and you raise your kids in the same kind of a lifestyle. And and it, with Sarah Huckabee Sanders, essentially, they're saying, we don't want your money. She should have shut up about it. 
Swall- swallowed it and moved on. Well, she, and move she on. was somewhat forgiving of it, you know. Uh, uh, but, uh, I, you know, I just think that uh, I think they just saved her life. That's all my that's my opinion. <laughs> Uh, I would have fed her. I would have stu- I would have stuffed her with every fattening <laughs> fried chicken. Gl- fried chicken just here. here try the fried, fried chicken. chicken. Here, have some lard. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's, it's wafer thin. Yeah, let's let's <laughs> Yeah, a fat guy in uh, uh, life Monty, the yeah. Monty Python's meaning of yeah. life. Yeah. That's but uh, it, it uh <laughs> I just keep thinking of John Cleese feeding him the wafer and then jumping behind a barricade, you know. But anyway, um, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I just, you know, I just, I just think uh, whoever did it had the right to say so, and you know, it wasn't for discriminatory purposes on the basis of religion or creed or sex or whatever. It was based on your political belief and what you feel this asshole is doing to the rest of the country by lying through her fucking. Pie hole. Huh. Yeah. And it's going to get worse. Oh, it, it just. Trump is going to use this as a, as a diversion from the immigration thing. Oh, it, he's going to try and use it as a diversion from the immigration thing. I mean, it just. Uh, and the immigration thing is just. I. I it, this is not the country I signed up for. <laughs> you know? It's not the morality I signed up for. I mean, who separates babies from their mommies? We do. You know, I mean, that's something Scrooge would do. That's something every evil person in history... Hitler would have done it. Romans. Romans would have done it, you know? Uh, But you don't, you know, you don't do it in the United States of America, not with our ethics. And, And... he gives everybody the idea that if you don't have a line in the sand, if you don't have a um, uh, no-nonsense policy, that there are going to be millions of these people coming over the border, taking your job, screwing your wives, you know, whatever. (laughs) My line is... uh if you're worried that uh, someone without a third grade education who can't speak English is going to take your job, maybe immigration isn't your biggest problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but I mean, but he, 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 he is the, I always use the bell the cat scenario in which the mouse tells the other mice there's a cat outside the, the mouse hole and I will put a bell around his neck if you make me king. And so they say, okay, so he takes the bell, he goes outside, there's no cat out there, he rings the bell a couple of times, comes back in and said, I belled the cat, they make him king. Well, that's, this is the bell the cat scenario. You know, it's tell people, uh, play to their biggest uh, uh, fears, uh, and, and tell them that these people are gonna come screaming over the border if you don't have a no tolerance policy. You know. Yeah, yeah. And, and everybody's jumping on board too. Mike Huckabee, Sarah's dad. Yeah. He uh, he tweeted out a photo of a bunch of MS-13 gang members, and said, "This is Nancy Pelosi's take back the House committee," you know, which was. Oh really? Uh, is that what? Uh, yeah. You know, I'm, I, 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 you know, there's certain people I remember that I've interviewed that I liked or disliked, and he was one of the ones I liked. I bet he's he, got a sense of humor. Yeah, he does about himself and about everything. So you know, I I like it. It's the his radio show when uh-huh. he had a, a talk show. I was I was the liberal. Oh. I was the pet liberal. You were the pet liberal uh, on my like, Huckabee yeah. radio show. So you you radio. agree with me? He's a nice guy. Yeah, I was on. Uh, I was uh, what what's his name from Watergate. Uh, uh, well, oh well, uh, he, the guy who got my job, I was supposed to have in in Washington. Oh really? G. G. Gordon Liddy. G. Gordon Liddy, yeah. Yeah, uh, I, was, I, 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 I turned down a job in Washington D.C. When I turned it down, they gave it to G. Gordon Liddy. At WJFK. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I decided to stay in San Francisco and not go Smart with book. it. Huh? Although he did get syndicated. Yeah, well, no, that was part of my deal syndication 
about the same money I was making in San Francisco. But you would have had to live in D.C. Uh, well, also uh, at the time, uh, it was owned. Uh, the station was owned by Mel Carmisen, and Mel was making the deal with me. And I'd heard so many terrible things about Mel that I didn't trust the deal. They wanted me to quit first because Mel didn't want to steal somebody from somebody, and then they would take me on. And I went, well, what if I quit and then they don't take me on? Huh. You know, yeah, and I've heard no. these horrible things about Mel. The only problem was, years later, I wound up working for Mel at Sirius, and he was the most wonderful boss I've ever had in my life. He was a wonderfully principled broadcaster, who if he told you, hey, you know, you're going to get this, or you're going to get that, he stood by it. He stood <coughs> by it. And he admired talent. And so I, that was maybe one of the biggest mistakes I ever made was not going to WJFK in, uh, in, uh, in Washington. Well, it was outside of Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was in, uh, yeah. forget, yeah. somewhere in Virginia. But anyway, so I, they were going to give me a, 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 a show there, and uh, I didn't take it. And, you know, I would have been syndicated and everything. So yeah, that's one of the big mistakes I made in my career. Well, one of, one you know? of the big mistakes. <laughs> One. Yeah. One. The other one. big mistake was going into radio in the first place. <laughs> you know. Oh well, yeah, I yeah. feel bad for the kids today. So, so if you had to give a state of the nation speech, Mr. Durst, yes. How goes the nation? Uh, the nation is troubled. We are in uh, deep doo doo, but uh, not as deep doo doo. I mean, we can still breathe. We can see. Uh, we can move our arms. Our, our feet are getting stuck. Uh, yeah. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it's it's uh, November will say a lot whether or not the Democrat, if anybody can screw, if anybody can snatch defeat from the jaws of victory, it's the Democrats. So I, I don't know if the blue wave is coming in November, but it's so important let, that there be a blue wave. If you've got a second, let me just bring up something that I brought up the other night. What I'm worried about in November is the tide shifting towards Trump because of the coverage he's getting. Because the coverage is now so skewed. I mean, if you go over to MSNBC, you go over to CNN, you go over to any of these, they're always on his case. And maybe that could hurt it because everybody's going to go, oh, you know, I've had it with, with all these news operations uh, skewing the news against Trump, even though what they're saying is the truth. You know, uh, do you think that's a possibility? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, it's I, worrisome. I wish the news people be a little more even handed. I, oh, uh, no, 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 no. He is what he is doing is so ludicrous. It is so off. I, I understand that, but what I'm that's saying the is problem the problem is he's becoming normalized. Yeah, but that's that's my other fear, is that when they're constantly going after him, it's setting up a pattern of oh, okay, he, he that's okay. Oh, he did that. Oh, we don't you know, if if any other president had done the shit he's done, they everybody be apoplectic. Well, people were apoplectic at George W. Bush. Remember, they were screaming on a, on, a, on a one to ten scale. They were screaming eight and a half. Oh, my God, he's taking us to the road to ruin, and, and he's going to get rid of uh, rights. And, and, and so now, when they're screaming at Trump, they're screaming yeah. at nine and a half. But it's, it, it doesn't seem any louder than the stuff they screamed at, at Bush. Yeah. And it, it's yeah. the, little, the little boy who cried, uh, this, this is bullshit. But I just, I just worry that the press is, is numbing people or doing something right. that right. is going to hurt in November, you know, and that maybe they have to be a little more even-handed or not seem so judgmental when they're doing a story because they've gotten very judgmental, and right they should because when you're called the fake news, that gets right. you mad. You have a right to be pissed. You have a right to say you're an asshole. And I think that if the news people really believed that he was just an asshole and this whole fake news thing is hurting them and whatever, what I would do is I'd stop reporting him. I just stop they, reporting they, every little scintilla of stuff he does. They, he had a he had a rally in South Carolina last night 
and they covered him for an hour live at a rally. Yeah. And, I mean, Obama never got that kind of coverage. Right, right. Bush never got that kind of coverage. But, I mean, it they... Go, it, was, yeah. it was like a campaign rally. But if they said, from here on in, we're only going to report the stuff that's important news, you know, that's a change in the seed change or yeah, whatever, yeah. Yeah. you know, or something he did today that he signed a bill or whatever... But not report every tweet, not report every little stupid thing he says and does, and you Give know him an hour of free coverage. That's he uses that. He yeah. uses that. How does he feel? I wonder about being upstaged by Melania with that yeah, jacket of hers. Yeah. Uh, 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 did I, he, I don't. Uh, I don't yeah. really care. Do you? Uh, well, I yeah. I yes. thought I thought that what it was was a teleprompter for Donald. <laughs> She's the walking teleprompter. The walking teleprompter. Well, hey, listen there, pal. We've gone over our usual time, but it's always a pleasure when I get to talk to the the wizened nature of Will Durst. Hey, I'm coming to New York in November, so hopefully we can do this uh, live. Oh, or I something. would love to do that, and also, you know, if you have need a place to stay, I've got the the the, the 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 Durst Suite waiting for you. Gonna gonna take you up on that one of these days, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he does comedy. It's called political comedy. He's coming to us. Place near you. That's yes. a threat. Theater near you. Theater near Durst. you. Right. It's Will Durst. 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 Goodbye, Will. Bye, Alex. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Ah, what do you know? I forgot to put on my uh, shirt. Where did my shirt go? I can't find my shirt anywhere. Ah, I always like to wear the shirt. Damn it. I must have left it in the other room. Hold on. I'll get another shirt. All right? I like to dress up for the show, you know? Here we go. Oh, no, the, here it is. It slipped right back here. Okay, I'll wear that one. Okay. It's where it slipped. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, get dressed while doing the show, Alex. It's a really great show business. Hi, how are you? I'm Alex. I've had quite a day, but I'll talk about that in a while. Uh, a really interesting day. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to close down the music panel here. See, this is stuff that plays music. Yeah, okay. Celebrating four. Yeah, that kind of stuff, you know. Or uh, uh. A lot of people say, what's that? Hey. It's Pat. Here comes Pat. We haven't done one of those in a while. We better do it before he dies. It, that was for Pat Robertson. Oh. We used to get the quotes of Pat Robertson all the time and find out what he was saying and not saying and but i saw him the other day and he doesn't look i better start doing it again because it doesn't look like he's going to last that long okay anyway i just uh, signed on here to uh skype and if anybody wants to call me great if you want to find out what that's all about here's how you do it go over to gabnet.net which is uh very simple to remember, gabnet.net. And over there on the right-hand side of the page, oh, I've got to turn on my, uh, <laughs> oh, God, I'm, I'm getting old. Look at that. I forgot to, I forgot to turn on my, <laughs> my picture. I wasn't even paying attention to it. Son of a bitch. Well, anyway, who cares? Nobody wants to see me anyway, right? Because uh, uh, it's an ugly vision. Uh, but anyway, um, so you just go over there to uh, gabnet.net, and on the uh, right-hand side of the page, it'll tell you how to how to use Skype and how to call the program and how to be part of the citizens panel. And this is where I wait for people to call me. Okay, uh, and it will uh, it will happen any any moment now. Uh, a lot of people watching tonight. Thank you very much for that. Um, mm. Had a big day today. Uh, I'll tell you all about it. Uh, it, it involves these, but I'll tell you what that's all about in a minute. Uh, let me see here. Oh, here, here comes what, our first caller of the night, and it was his birthday uh, yesterday. Uh, and you were how old, uh, was it? 64. 64? 
Yeah. There we go. I'm I'm trying to there. I'm trying to transition right. And I, I'm not, it's it's Tuesday. I I, I I unset everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, all I got to say is sticks and stones will break my bones, but the words make me feel sad. What do you mean? Yeah. Well, just uh, the political environment, you know, you, you, you say things that make me feel sad, you know, that that upset me. But it, it's OK. Let them throw rocks and, you know, shoot at cops. But uh, the, the what words is it, wait, wait, what are is, what's really what, what is this all about? Well, it, it's it's uh, what's happening in, uh, in in our country. Everybody is so sensitive to the words that are being said. Uh, that they're uh, no, you and I, you and I don't have a have an argument there. You know, yeah. you really, you and I don't have an argument there. I think that we're getting too overly. We're we, we're on a trigger's edge that anytime somebody says something wrong, we're automatically all on top of them. Yeah, um, you know, it's uh, it's time for uh, you know the old saying that they used to have in the schoolyard: "Sticks and stones will break my bones." But words well, will never I, I was me. watching a talk show the other day in which yeah. they showed this clip that was a horrible clip. I mean, supposedly. Now, I, I want to see how you feel about it, and I'd like to see what other people, as they call him, feel about it. But the clip was a guy over on Fox having a fight with a black guy on the air. And he yeah. said at one point, you're out of your cotton-picking mind. Well, I don't think that means anything. And all anything. of a That's sudden, everybody is writing Fox, and Fox is apologizing... And the fact is, uh, that term has been a term in usage forever. And I never yeah. even associated it with black people or a put down of black people. Because he happened to say you're out of your cotton picking mine. And maybe at one time his relatives picked cotton. You know, I mean, that really, and he, he took such offense at it. And I went, you know, let's all lighten up a little bit. You know, this, if that's the worst that's happened to you in your lifetime, you've gotten off easy, you know? Yeah. Anybody ever said, uh, hey, uh, you know, I got Jewed down or, uh, you know. Uh, it you know, it all used to bother me when people would say it, but, you know, I found it difficult to explain why it was wrong to somebody. Hi, Vernon. That's right. Tell them. Say it. Yeah. Uh, um, how do you uh, how do you Morse code out "fuck you"? Uh, is that letter by letter? No, that's just F U. F U. Okay, fine. See, do you ever do that sometimes when you're mad at somebody? Nah, nah, <laughs> nah. Uh, no, but we're, anyway, let's get back to this conversation here. So I, you know, I just felt that that was a case of being a little, you're just looking for everything, you know? People are way too sensitive lately. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it, it used to be, hey, you just let that stuff you know, run off your back. Yeah. But I, I think people are looking for excuses to, to hold uh, pe uh, right wing or left wing their feet to the fire. I'll tell you, a long, while back, a long time ago, I was having somebody over, he was black, and, and we were talking about stuff, and, I, and I was, we were talking about race, and I said, uh, 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 people of color, uh, or people who are colored, and I was, what I was referring to was not the colors, well, as it were, well, colored, but people, people of, I, I didn't want to just limit it to black, I wanted to expand it to people of discernible color okay right. and he got upset by that and i said you know i didn't mean it that way you know i said if you're upset by it i'm sorry but i i i i meant i wasn't just saying black people you know because i usually use the term black i yeah. said i was referring to all people of color uh so if you said something like that on twitter uh oh, they go, and then go nuts Listen, yeah. a couple of weeks ago, I posted a picture I shot of a guy at the corner of 116th and, and, and uh, uh, Malcolm X Boulevard, passed, ask pa passed, out, passed out with an empty box of Popeye's chicken. And I wrote the caption, nothing like a good meal and then a nice nap. You know, and yeah. people just, people were defriending me. 
you know, they were going ballistic over it. Nobody has a sense of humor anymore. You can't laugh. I, yeah. I didn't we'll mean it. I didn't mean it as humor. I meant it as social comment. Yeah. You know, I meant it in a far deeper way than that, you know. And I, so I got I got really pissed off. At, uh, people got pissed off at me for that. So, you know, you, you, it's just like, you, what are you going to do? You know, yeah. what are you going to you know, do? I, I know, not to, not to uh, uh, go from the uh, explanation of the photo, but I noticed in that photo there was a number of little black spots on the sidewalk. Is that um, gum? Yeah, it's usually gum, you know. It's like you can't walk anywhere without stepping in gum. Uh, on that sidewalk. Well, you know, it, there it could be gum. It's not dog shit or anything like that. No, 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 no. It looked like gum. You know, but, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's something you, you don't know. see lately. You don't see any dog shit anymore. Yeah. Well, you know, that's, that's the one thing. The dogs eat the gum. <laughs> Do you remember you used to have dog shit? It was old dog shit. It would turn like uh, to charcoal or charcoal gray or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know, maybe... Um, they're uh, you know they're cleaning it up. I think people are more conscious uh, and, and of their dogs. Yeah. The ones that walk them, and you really can't let them run but, out by themselves. Anyway, getting back to the hypersensitivity. Yeah. You know, I I just think that we we're too ready to jump on people every time they do something that is you don't consider socially correct, and in a way, that's a kind of fascism. You know. Yeah. Uh, nah. And I'm not saying that, you know, that we, we there aren't things that need to be cleaned up and that, hey, maybe a term like cotton picking now that they brought it up, I guess it isn't a great term, you know, uh, yeah. but uh, it, it, I, I used it for years. You're out of your cotton picking mind. So have you. So is probably Vernon. And we yeah. never thought for a moment that that referred to black people. Yeah, but Vernon gets away with it because he uses Morse code. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think? I can abbreviate. I can abbreviate. <laughs> you can abbreviate. I mean, what do you think, Vernon? I mean, I think that's being a little a little hypersensitive. Yeah. But, you know, uh, in a lot of cases, the phrases that people use, you have to look at the context. If, if the intention is there that's or not. Right. That is correct. What is the intent? Is the intent to harm? Then it's wrong. If the intent was... Hey, I just was saying you're out of your cotton picking mine. Uh, people yeah. turn turn it into a uh, that they were harmed. The funny part it, is, if he had said it to a white guy, which he might have easily said, okay, because right. no one think twice about nobody it. would think twice about it. But it, because it was a black guy, they went oh, black guy cotton picking. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. I I agree. People are way too sensitive, and I think that they're looking. For anything that they can latch on to, uh, you get a guy like Trump whose uh, vocabulary has got to be really limited yeah. to, you know, to, to the way he explains things. Uh, he, he explains them. He understands it. And I don't think he means anything by it. But oh, when I, it comes I, out I, of his I, mouth. I think there's a certain kind of ignorance there. You know, yeah. uh, it, I, it comes out of his mouth and, it, you know, you, you can't believe the guy said it. But. On the other hand, there's a whole cadre of people that are looking to jump on anything he says. But, you know, you could take a look at, like, the first speech he made when he was going to run for president. That whole thing about they send us their uh, bad people, blah, 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 you know. And, and that whole speech, it was, it was racist from the get-go. Well, yes and no. You know, he was, if you think about it as uh, maybe Trump would think about it as an employer, yeah. Uh, hey, if I could get people coming into this country that have education, that can add things to the uh, to the economy, and uh, you know if they want to come here, uh, they actually contribute instead of just take, then you know that's probably where he was coming from, and I don't think it was meant in a racist way. Well, I no, I, it was meant in a racist way, Phil, because that's been his entire philosophy running for president. No. He's stirring up yeah, people yeah, I mean, who are racist. He, 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 who, he, he has given voice to people who have had to stay in the background for a long time, and Trump made it okay to no, say stuff I, like that. He's I, not an intelligent businessman like people think. I don't think Trump is is sanctioning uh, racism. I think what happens is that people on the no, right... No, no, he's not sanctioning it, Phil. He's racist. encouraging it. 
No, but I think people. There is a sense of permission. There is a sense of permission, and that's the worst thing you can do: is give people a sense of permission that something's okay to do. But they're they're assuming that sense of permission. I don't believe that Trump is giving them that sense of permission. Uh, You know, and by his acts, he is giving. Look, look. I have always felt the term "dog whistles," Phil. Yeah, and I think it's bullshit. Well, that's that's part well, of what he, why you yeah. feel the way you do. There are dog whistles out there. Here's and Trump th- uses them very well. Here's the thing: when I, I've done ra- when I've credit. done radio all these years, I've often said to people, I may have even said it to you on one occasion, that the the important part about doing a radio show is that you don't give anybody a sense of permission to act in a certain way, right? And that that would be the worst thing I could do, uh, and that's what Trump does. He, he whether whether by by default or by stupidity, he gives a whole cadre of people out there a sense of permission for their bad behavior. Uh, I I agree that there are people that interpret what he's saying. Well, as, then you as have to be careful about what you say, knowing that. Well, he should be. Yeah. But on the other hand, I think that we're too sensitive to what is being said. Uh, And, uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's what's important anymore. You know, is is it important that you are offended by a word? I don't think so. We got free speech in this country. If we don't like the word, we don't have to listen to the guy. You know, in a a sense, Phil, I agree with you. You you really shouldn't be. as upset about what's being said as we should be about what's happening, yeah, what what's is actually done. taking place in this country. Did you see the CBO report that came out today? No. The debt in this country hit $21 trillion, and the trend line is that it's highest it's ever been in terms of percentage of GDP since World War II. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that if you was, got a four hundred one k, cash it out and put it in gold or something because it's going to go. the The, the economy is going to go in the tank very soon. Uh, you know, Alex doesn't go for this gold, <laughs> but maybe he should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? uh, I I have a feeling that there is a bubble that's going to break, but uh, uh, I think that the tide is turning, and uh, that what we're seeing. Uh, from Trump and what we're seeing, uh, his his numbers are coming up. And now there's always going to no, be the his numbers. His, his numbers are not up in general. His numbers are up with Republicans. Uh, they, they, yeah, those are the people for, who would vote for him. Yeah, they're people who would vote for him. He's still. I wouldn't vote for him. He, he's still there around. I think he's back down to forty one percent now. You know. Well, uh, he had a tough uh, week and a half or so over the kids being separated. Now, you know, well, that, he, that isn't that isn't a you say he had a tough week, but that isn't something he didn't bring on himself. I understand. But that dropped his uh, that, that dropped his polls. Uh, uh, the Quinna Quinna Pe- Quinnipiac. Quinna, yeah, uh, that has him up. Uh, and I think that that's, you a, know, it, these things go up, they poll. go down. The only poll that matters is the one that happens at the polls. And we're going to have to wait and see what happens with all of this. Now, I was talking to Wilders. Anybody else going to call tonight? I mean, this is a nice conversation we're having. So if you don't want to call, fuck you. You know, uh, I'm, I'm here with two of the people I really like, you know. Um, but uh, I mentioned the to, to Durst. And was I mentioned somebody else here besides me. <laughs> I mentioned it the other night yeah. that I was worried that the press is getting a little too, I don't want to say one-sided, because that's not the term I'm looking for. But what they're doing is they're giving credence to anything Trump wants to say about the fake news. Because every time you turn on the news, if you turn on MSNBC, you turn on CNN, you turn on, uh, 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 even on, in some cases, Fox, and they're bashing <laughs> Trump. Did you hear the crowd at the uh, South Carolina uh, 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 rally that he had yesterday? Yeah, but not... They they were chanting fake news Jim uh, against Jim Acosta, 
who I guess is the White House correspondent for CNN. Oh, and, and, and the whole crowd is yelling, fake news, well, well, Jim. Well, you see, that's the kind of thing that he gives a sense of permission to do. You know, and uh, this idea of fake news, you know, I mean, uh, Hitler used it. He used it a great deal as, a, as an argument against those who would diss him, okay? Um, but it scares me a bit. Yeah. Uh, and, but what I said to, to, to Durst was, and I've said it on the show before, okay, so, um, uh, so he thinks that it's the fake news. Then fake news, don't report him except when he does something important. Don't report every, every time he gives a speech somewhere, like in South Carolina, they broadcast it. They never did that with Obama or Bush or anybody. I think also the social media has, uh, uh, you know, you were saying to Durst that, hey, when uh, Clinton said something, there wasn't a whole big uh, uh, upheaval. Yeah. Well, there was no Twitter. When, uh, no, we, we and, have. There is a different. There is a different canvas out there now. Yeah. There's no question about that. But the point is that people are just getting awfully. Uh, you know, I think that he, it, it it gives credence to to what they say. You know about that. Well, you make the example of Hitler. Uh, Hitler used certain tactics that have been. Uh, used uh, for thousands of years. Basically, basically, reasoning, primarily in advertising. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. whether it's syllogistic reasoning, whether it's uh, that mass hysteria that he created with the, with the, uh, the hand in the air, uh, these kinds of things yeah. were done in even but the what, Roman but, but times. What you do, what you do, what Hit, let's look at what Hitler did. First of all, he had to find a scapegoat. Right. And who did he pick? Jews. Trump. Jews, Jews homosexuals, Trump, Trump, Gypsies, Gypsies, yeah. Catholics, and Trump, uh, homosexuals, Catholics, uh, homosexuals, yeah. homosexuals, and, and Trump, Sounds like Trump likewise, Trump <laughs> likewise needs a scapegoat. And who's he using? Mexicans. And Muslims. Muslims. And oh. a lot of people that don't, haven't hurt anybody, you know. Well, yeah, it's just that uh, all he, all he wanted in the ban was to have three months mm -hmm. to fix the situation and create a vetting process. And the, the ban was delayed, and, uh, and obviously the ban is legal. Uh, you know, whether you like it as five to four, whether you uh, try to say, oh, it's five to four, so it's not good well, enough. Yeah, you, know, you know, it what, is. What was it, the, I, I don't I, know, but how, what was the vote on the abort on abortion with, uh, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago uh, when the Supreme Court said abortion was legal? What was the vote on that? I, I can't yeah. remember. Yeah. But, but uh, I, I will have to say, oh, look, Ray Renati's taking his daily, hey, his daily walk. Um, uh, it, 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 you know, uh, to begin with, the Supreme Court coming out with this ruling today. Let's face it, we've got a Supreme Court that's that's uh, that's uh, conservative. Conservative le it leans conservative, and so this was basically along political lines rather than along any kind of humanistic so. lines. I okay. think they voted along political lines, but I think those that voted for. We're looking at the Constitution and taking the words and the emotion out of it and saying, is what he's doing legal or not legal? Is he within his rights well, to you, do what you, he did? you got to remember, Bill, he, if you, he Bill, had if you to amend. Up, he had, Roe v. Wade was a 7-2 to two sit decision. 7-2. Okay. to 7-2. to two. Okay, I was just wondering, you know, how, because uh, I wasn't sure. Uh, yeah, now, now you got to remember that, that uh, you know, that this decision... Uh, uh, I, I just think that, look, if, if um, Obama had been allowed to get in Gorsuch on the Supreme Court, it would have gone the other way today. You know, you so mean uh, Garrick Marlin? You mean uh, Garrett Marlin? Uh, Garrett. Yeah, yeah. What, what, Gor yeah. Why did I think of Gor Who's Gorsuch? Gorsuch is the guy that uh, Trump picked. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Merrick Garland. If Merrick Garland had gotten on the Supreme Court, uh, then it would have gone the other way. That's how, how tentative this whole thing is. And I think the Supreme Court is voting against the Constitution. I think they're voting their own personal prejudices. Okay. Well, you know, the Merritt Garland, I thought, kind of leaned to the right. 
Uh, I thought that Obama was looking to uh, Merrick Garland because he thought that that was somebody that would be uh, accepted uh, by the right. And uh, uh, so and yeah. he could have been a swing kind of guy like Kennedy, you know, yeah. uh, not necessarily always going, uh, yeah. you know, like a Sotomayor or, or um, uh, well, my, my question is, my question is, how much longer that can Ruth Bader Kagan. Ginsburg keep going? Uh, you know, I think she's trying to hold out for the uh, the elections in the fall and hoping that they get a, a Congress that's uh, rife with enough Democrats that Trump won't be able to just, you know, uh, get in anybody he wants to get in. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, I wonder why they're always uh, leaving uh, leaving the floor slippery uh, in front of her office. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Right. <laughs> Hey, I don't know if you talked about this or not, but I heard you talking about Hitler and his propaganda films. Yeah. Um, there was a famous woman, a filmmaker that yeah. he Lena, used. Uh, Lena, uh, uh, right, uh, you know, uh, Miller? We're, we're, no. Uh, uh, what's her I name? I forgot her name. Uh, She'd be too uh, hold young. Hold on a second. You're, uh, all, you're driving me my uh, Lenny Reifenstahl. Oh, okay. Eleni Reifenstahl. She uh, was Hitler's filmmaker. She was great. She, oh, she made great films. If you look at Olympia yeah. and you look at uh, Triumph of the Will, you see some really amazing filmmaking. Yeah. Yeah. And she did a great job with his, you know, fake news or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really was convincing and made him look how you how, how they managed to take this guy who rather is a rather goofy-looking guy yeah. And turn him into the image of what he was. I mean, it, it, it's just amazing to me. You know, I the same thing with Obama. Well, I, uh, had, a, I had a theory about Hitler, and, and, and I brought this up to I certain think it's people. The same with Obama? Huh? Yeah. It's this way he gives speeches. He no, was no, able to. No, no, no. no. Uh, no I'm going to tell you why. No, but, I'm going to tell you why Hitler. I'm going to tell you why Hitler was okay. popular. Okay? Yeah. Who was the most popular personality, film personality in the world at that time? Charlie Chaplin. And who Chaplin. does he look Chaplin. like? Charlie Chaplin. Chaplin. And who did he try to look like? Charlie Chaplin. Charlie and when Charlie Chaplin. Chaplin wanted to do Hitler, he didn't have to revamp the little tramp. He just had to put on a uniform. <laughs> yeah. So tell me that that wasn't a, uh, oh, let's say a, 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 a kind of a... Like a, uh, a, a method. There was a method to his madness on the way he looked. Hey, yeah. did you hear about uh, New York 14 Probably. tonight? New York 14? What's New York 14? New, like York District, New York District 14 represented Congress by Joe oh, Crowley yes, for yes. the last 20 years, and he lost in the primary to a 28 year old woman. Yeah. She was the one that just got in the traffic wreck yesterday or the day before? Oh, and, I don't think so. No, oh, think so. But there was some somebody that was running for a Senate seat, uh, and it was a young woman, and she was in a traffic wreck. No, this was Congress. Oh, oh. Was Congress. Yeah. Uh, hi, yeah. hi, uh, Patrick. Patrick's being rather quiet, so I thought I would <coughs> say hi, Patrick. Anything you want to add to this? No, not really. I'm going to get. Everybody will get pissed. No, we don't get pissed. Uh, Patrick, nobody gets pissed at Patrick. Pissed. We, pa pissed. Phil is here to get pissed at. Okay? Yeah. yeah. I, I support the ban. Um, I have no problem with it. I think it's a temporary thing. I think it's a good thing to start vetting so many people that come in. Um, I said it last week. I'm so fucking tired of hearing about how we should never have any standards. <sighs> but it's okay for Canada and Mexico. Norway and every other fucking country in the world mm -hmm. to decide who they want to come in and who they don't. Yeah. But we can't. So we do now, have a vetting process, though. But we have a vetting process now. Right, and it's obviously not strong enough. So well, the question is, I want to ask, what is what is the purpose here? I mean, is it the um, is it uh, a fear of 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 uh, Aliens. I mean, he, the Supreme Court, in its in its ruling, stated that he, this rule, this this law that he would pass, 
was in an effort to protect America from those who would do it harm. And my thing is, that's exactly what you do to create f fear. You create a fear, and then you say, well, I'm the guy who's going to solve it. Okay? Do you believe in the rule of law? I believe, uh, no, not no. all the time. Depends on the law. Uh, I, I do. No, oh, why? And, you mean uh, blindly? Blindly you believe in the rule of law. Yeah, that's that's how society gets no, along. No, 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 no. That's how society keeps other people down many times. A lot uh, of the laws that, that, in this country for years kept blacks down. Yeah, there are all kinds of unconstitutional laws that were discriminatory and still are. And 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 now and eventually they go to court and no, they no, uphold no, it. It could be a hundred years. It could be a hundred years. <laughs> you know how many how many how many blacks got lynched in the South before somebody said, "Whoops, this is wrong." It's like Carlin said: "There's still guys in hell doing time on the meat wrap." You yeah. know, in the Catholic Church. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. Yeah. You know, it's like because they because they ate meat on Fridays. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Cer yeah. no, certain, but, certain things uh, take time, no. but uh, I well, think that's, that, you know, with yeah. the media the way it is, with uh, the way you can communicate with the internet, uh, things that society finds to be no. But uh, all I'm bad. saying is, I, I don't believe in the rule of law. I, I think there are a lot of laws that have been created from time to time to actually hurt people. And to keep people in their place and make it harder for people to do so. A lot of the laws in the South about voting, for instance, those were the laws. Would you have stood up for those laws, Phil? Of course not. Well, then, but, then, but, but you're but saying, but, no, but, you're, you, 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 but, you're, but it's time. the rule. It was the rule of law, Phil. It was a different time. No, 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 Miranda, Phil. Phil, law. this is this is a different time too. If you think today is any better than it was back then, you're nuts. It's just a new set of laws that are oppressing people. Marijuana is still a class one drug. How, how can it? All, how the, can, all the states are breaking the law. Yeah, how can it be uh, oppressing people uh, when uh, it's the citizens of this country that have the rights, and when someone breaks the law to try to fill fill bull fuck? Let me call bull fucking shit on you, okay? Yeah. Let me tell you, tell me a law that exists for the most part, that doesn't protect property and protects people. Oh, well, they're there to protect property. No, but you see, it's oh, most of the laws are to protect property. Yeah, that's why I said. They're there to protect property. Yeah, well, I, I don't think laws should protect property. I think it should protect people's rights. I <clears> think <throat> it should protect them politically. You know, it should protect so, them uh, uh, religiously. It should protect them in a lot of different ways. But I don't think... That it should we that you as a cop, when you were a cop, should have been held with the responsibility of primarily, you know, policing and and if, and if, prosecuting if I, property. Okay, if your property, let's say you're not home, somebody breaks into your apartment and damages your property. What I'm that's not what I'm saying, Phil. Property? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that the majority of laws are to protect property. More majority of the things the police do is to protect property. Not to protect people. Well, no, I think it's for both. No, I don't think so. Well, I don't. I don't see where you get it, you get your facts on that. Hey, let a cop That's get killed, opinion. and everybody's looking for the killer. Let some black guy get killed in in in, in Harlem, and and the cops don't care. Well, you know that's true. There is a, uh, but that has nothing to do with the and law. And what's what's to that, say? What's to say that cops that cop is more important than me? There's nothing. It's just that uh, what happens is there's a camaraderie amongst cops. Uh, All now, I'm saying is you're you're you're, 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 you're making my guy, case. You're problem. making my case, Phil. No, you, let's say you got uh, two black guys going to Starbucks yeah. and they get thrown out. Yeah. And there's a big uproar, and there's millions of dollars in training, and there's uh, all of these things. As well, but there should okay, be. But it's okay that Sarah Sanders. Hey, listen, gets I was very happy today because I was downtown, and I had I had to do something at a store, and they didn't have a bathroom, but they said there's a Starbucks down the street, and I knew I could now walk into that Starbucks and use that bathroom without them saying no. Well, uh, did did they say it was okay? All right. Maybe I will. Yeah, check it out. See what what is it? What is that? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. That's me. No. Ray's got a... Huh? 
Ray's got a Ray's guest. in a public place, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah. has, uh, he, he has a guest. He has a guest? Yeah. No, no, no. There was just somebody like 20 feet away from me talking. Ah. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I'll just turn off my volume. No, that's it. <clears throat> You know, that that election I was talking about, uh, Alex, even though it was a Democratic primary, I was kind of happy to see that. And the reason I'm saying that is I think a number of voters in this country are starting to get so fed up with the political environment in Washington, Mm -hmm. it's starting to look like throw all of them out. Start over. Well, that's kind of what Trump wants. No, Trump wants ass lickers. He wants people that does things the way he wants them done. Right. Period. Because he That's had the only the way Trump people, people appreciates will... anybody is if they do what he wants them to do, and right. that's all. And that was his agenda: is to throw the bums out. No, but he didn't throw the bums out. He brought the other bums in. No. He also it's said not the like he drained the swamp. He simply he drained the swamp. To... And all he's done is pass a tax code that has ballooned the debt. Wait, listen, uh, he dra- it, believe me, he drained the swamp because that's where he found his cabinet. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't. I don't agree with you. I, you know, uh, sometimes you know when the FBI wanted to know about check kiting and and uh, and so forth. They hired that guy uh, that they made the movie about. Um, uh, uh, what's his name? You know, the the, the guy Frank that was Adam writing uh, millions of dollars in checks and Frank and Adam yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you sometimes you got to hire the talent to, to figure out yeah. how to combat. Trump's no talent. He's not as good a businessman as he makes out to be. He's filed bankruptcy six times. He's been yeah, one of the. He's, he's, also, he's, he's one of the worst. Talk, he's one of the. He's talked with North Korea. He's one of. The, and he's about to. He's about to put this country into bankruptcy. So he had a peace talk with North Korea. So fucking what? What's happened? Now, what's Putin. happened? Well, so what's far, happened? It's, what's it's happened? No, what's hey, happened? Sorry, oh, it's things beginning. aren't moving fast it's, enough. For it's them. a beginning. He, Mr. Tough Talk, Mr. Rocket Boy, Mr. We, um, our bombs are bigger than your bombs, is now sitting there and sucking Kim Jong Un's dick. That's what it took. Oh, really? Well, I hope the suction was tactic. worth it. What? It's a negotiating tactic to first. Uh, it's like <laughs> Est. You remember how Est used to? Yeah. Well, what build kind of negotiating tactic that? do we have to have to keep Canada on our side? I mean, we've alienated fucking Canada. No, you know, they were actually our enemies. They invaded us. Oh, jeez. They burned down our White House. No, they no, didn't. didn't. No, they didn't. That was the They're British. Down. That was it's not the, the Canadians. Well, they liked it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, who we lost to Ray. Mm. Yeah. Yes, Patrick. We, we drove Ray away. Uh, the, the Canadian did burn down our White House. Yeah. No, so the, the, they, did, they did attack us, and they, they defeated us by uh, burning down our White House. So they were our enemy at one point. Yeah. That's true. I don't Never, remember it. Yeah. I wasn't alive. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you were. And more than that, I don't... I I, more than that, unlike, unlike Trump, unlike Trump, unlike Trump I don't yeah. hold a grudge. Everybody burns the White House. You know, you can always figure out Trump's motivation by just seeing what did what did Obama do that he can undo. You know, he he has such a hard on for Obama that he goes to bed every night obsessed with Obama. I want a Nobel Prize just like Obama got. I want you know I'm going to undo this because Obama did it. You know, not thinking for a moment that maybe it was okay, it was good, it worked. You know. No, I don't think it worked because Obama took the the debt from 15 trillion, Vern, to to 19. Yeah, and Trump has taken it from 19 to what? Uh, 21. 21, and he's only been in office how long? Yeah, but year and a half. He was stuck and and Obama what did and what did what did uh, uh, Obama have to do in his first year in office in order to save? What this was country? the deficit in Obama's last year, Phil? Uh. 18 or 19, I think. That's $400 billion. You know what the, uh, Trump's debt is for the first year? Over a trillion. Well, uh, I don't see how that can happen when he's uh, when more people are off of food stamps. Uh, more people are... Uh, you can't are cut hurt. your way to prosperity, Phil. That's the, that's the 
the bullshit that the Republicans have been spinning for for decades. You hey. can't cut your way to prosperity. Well, you hey. have to grow yourself to prosperity. Well, Democrats and are buying cutting, votes. cutting spending and, and and raising military spending is not the way to turn the economy around. Well, if you uh, get more people to work, you generate more taxes. When you generate more taxes, you you have a smaller deficit. You know, uh, you know you, that is that is Republican thinking, and it's wrong. Well, it never has. Every time anybody's tried that, it hasn't worked. Phil. That's because of all the regulations that no, Obama. No, 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 no. Regulations have been around forever. I know, but they're getting slashed from no. Like Trump. No, regulations have nothing to do with it. Well, he's getting rid of all these... I'm alive today, but, Phil, because of government regulations. I was in a head-on collision in 2010, and if it hadn't been for the safety requirements that this government put on auto manufacturers with seatbelts and airbags, I'd be dead. Yeah, well, that's a good thing. I'm sorry. I'm glad that you are uh, you were driving a yeah, safe yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but let, let's let, let if we let business do what they want to do, they'll do what's right, right, Phil? Well, you know, if people, <laughs> uh, you remember the Pinto? Do you remember the Pinto? Uh, that wait a minute, the car or the bean? Uh, the because car. Because both of them make you explode. Both of them would make you explode in the rear. The little ball. So you know, I, they used to call it the blow up car. You know, because you get hit from the rear, blow up. Yeah, but that's what a Pinto bean does too. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the the idea is, is that people uh, that met all the regulations of the time, but people weren't buying them because they were calling them the blow up car. Uh, because if you let business do what it does, the people come to realize, hey, this is no good. Yeah. But how many people it. are dead by that time? You only, ki you only killed seven. Oh, we only killed seven hundred people. It's okay, but we learned our lesson. The price was right. Yeah, the yeah. <laughs> the price was right. Yes, uh, 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 Patrick. Yeah, I, I do believe there are, are some roles for government to have um, oversight, and safety is one of them. I mean, they they tend to do enough uh, tests. I mean, that's what test dummies are for with cars. And, you know, the companies are required to do them. And I think it's the same with testing water, same with testing food and things like that. There are certain things that the government should have oversight and require businesses to do. Because even though I agree with you, Phil, that in the end, the people will likely make the correct decision like with a Pinto. However, we really don't want to go through 700 lives to get to that point. I'd rather destroy 700 dummies to make the point that, hey, this car isn't safe, or this boat isn't safe, or this water isn't safe. I mean, and it's going to piss animal lovers off too, but tough shit. That's why we have animals in labs as well. So we can test for cancer and we can test for things like that. Yeah. Um, and that it's important to do. So on the whole, I agree, government should be hands off on a lot of things. But when it comes to safety and that stuff, you know what? I don't want to take the risk and leave it up to business because it takes too damn long and it's not mm -hmm. worth risking lives. Look Why was the EPA created, Phil? That's what I was just going to say. What about the Why EPA? was the EPA created, Phil? It was created because business was dumping all their trash in the rivers and in the air. Right. Exactly. And there are some EPA regulations that are uh, important to, uh, to protect the environment, but they go too far. Ah. Mm. I think Ray's at the gym. Yeah, he, he looked like he was on yeah, one of those was, bicycles. He was on an exercise cycle, yeah. I haven't yeah. worked out. I didn't work out today. Uh, so I'm feeling... I, 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 him calling up and doing that makes me feel bad, like I, I should have worked out today. But Oh, you, you feel bad? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but I, I had things to do. And can I tell you quickly what we did today? Yeah. So girlfriend yeah. has this guy she does business with over at AT&T. So they had a deal. 
buy a phone, Uh-oh. right? Buy a yeah. phone, and for two hundred dollars, I could get a two hundred fifty-six K iPad. How many iPads do you have now? No, uh, this is uh, I haven't bought one in about four years. So uh-huh. this, this, you know, I could I could use a new one. They're faster. Okay. But 256 K uh, is not very much. No, that's about as, it's as high as they go. Uh, I think oh, maybe they go to yeah, uh, right. 256 gig gig. Excuse me. Yeah. 256 okay. gig. Okay. Uh, so I got that. And then uh, the phone, it, I used to pay, pay 500 bucks, buy a phone. And then for the next two years, uh, live up to my obligation and paid $135 a month in just service fees. They gave me this phone, which I'm paying for every month on a two-year plan, okay? Uh, with paying for the phone and the service itself and the insurance and the taxes and also the iPad uh, plan, which used to be separate from the 135 that I was paying, uh, it's all for 150 bucks a month, and and if girlfriend and I go on the same plan together, we'll cut our own plans in half. But um, so I went for it. What the hell, you know? What phone did you get? Uh, it's an iPhone X. Oh, you mean the one that you don't like? You well, yeah, uh, I knew that was uh, not when you had to pay a thousand bucks for it. But I'm paying the thousand bucks now over two years, uh, and I paid thirteen hundred for this one. You paid thirteen hundred. It's the two fifty six. This is a two fifty six. Yeah, yeah. Well, came from Verizon. They took me. No, well, I, I so uh, anyway, so I've got this now, and the face recognition is interesting. Yeah. Because I mean, Samsung had face recognition years ago. Because Albert used to say to me, "Look what my phone can do," and then he would look at his phone, and it would turn on, right? But I came in tonight, and I came into this room, and the lights were off. And I said, I wonder if it's going to, you know, if it's going to recognize me. And sure enough, I guess just from the light in the phone, it it automatically saw who I was. So, you know, now what happened to it? Uh, so I want to tell you something about my uh, iPhone 10. Yeah. You know, it came with this protective screen. I have on it. it. I have it on it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the other day, I noticed that there was a chip in the screen and uh, and there was a crack all the way across it so i i and i didn't realize there was a protective screen on it yeah so I, I started playing around with it and i peeled off the protective screen and the screen of the iphone was perfect yeah so sunday i went over to the apple store and for 40 bucks they put a new screen on yep and, and uh the way they do it it was perfect they got a little machine Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I swear by these uh, protective they, they, phone they, screens. They, now. I, I got the phone screen myself, but he put it on a little off. It's just a little bit off, so I may take it back and have him re-put it on. I think they just slide right off, right? They just come. Uh, they, I'm not sure. When but you, this when you took this Belkin his, one, what a belt brand. Yeah. They actually had a machine, and there was plastic in there, and they pull it out, and it it it, uh, it was perfect. Yeah, but anyway, so I got it with that. And I got it also on on this. Uh, uh, this uh, iPad screen as well. So, uh, huh. and then I just came home and I just said restore to both these machines. And before I knew it, uh, I was up and running. You know, uh, but uh, the only the only difference is now that there are certain different things you do. Like you know, there's no button anymore on it. Like right, you, you swipe said. your finger up. Yeah, and I had to learn different swipes for different things. And uh, you know. Uh, so now, now you've joined the elite of the iPhone tens, and you can't make fun of mine anymore. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's it's supposedly it's okay. It takes nice pictures, and it's you know, I'm, I'm you know, but I uh, I waited for the right deal, and plus I can uh, next year if I want to at this time uh, get a new phone, be upgraded to the newest phone. I can get upgraded every year. I just keep paying for another two years after that, but I can now, upgrade you know, every the year. Next, the next phone to come out is the iPhone 9. Mm-hmm. They already got an 8. Yeah. So if you get the 9, is it really an upgrade to go from the 10 to the 9? What? Go from the, 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 next, the next number on iPhones to come out is the iPhone 9. They got the 8. 
so the next one's going to be the 9. And now, if you upgrade to a 9 from a 10, is that really an upgrade? Uh, I, uh, if, if you go up, uh, I don't know what they're going to do with the 10. They're probably going to call it the 10 plus or the 10 something, but it's going to be very hard for them to come out with an Apple 9 and say, this is the new phone. You know, yeah. supposedly the 9 will have a lot of the features like the facial recognition and so on. But uh, the only thing I'm wondering well, is when, side to that. when it comes Compared to paying to in a cab and I have to hold this up to a thing, will it see my face on, uh, on Apple Pay? I don't know. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't yeah, know it's supposed it to. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so, the, you know, this is... This is the new toys, uh, and I and I'm 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 paying fifteen dollars less a month for my service overall. My monthly charges, it, it was it used to be one hundred thirty five plus thirty, and now it's going to be one hundred and fifty. So. I guess they can't thank you for your service anymore. N no, you I, yeah, less. Yeah, you know. yeah, right. So anyway, uh, uh, let me, yes, Jeff. Did did anybody uh, d discuss uh, the harlot? The uh, motorcycle from uh, oh Harley, not yet. Oh yeah, Harley is leaving the country. Am I correct about that? No, part of it's going to leave the country. Yeah, there's there's our boy Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin, pull your shirt up a little higher. Yeah. Oh, got a job. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, the question is, uh, they, they're thinking of building some of them over in Europe, right? So they won't have to pay yes. the tariffs and they won't be... The ones that are, are going to be going. sold in Europe are going to be built in Europe. Yeah, they are going over there. So in effect, uh, Trump has forced certain industries out of the country. No, yeah. probably the tariff jobs. Is, so, is so great that they have to build it over there. The same thing BMW, Volkswagen, and, all the, and Toyota are doing in this country. Yeah, it's, so a, Harley, it's a hundred dollars. Harley has gone, what, they closed the plant in Pittsburgh. Well, somebody's right? got a hissy and sound, and I think it's, could, could you mute your phone, uh, Ray? Too. Yeah, Ray. That was yeah. Ray. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying, Vernon? Say that again. That's Ray with the hiss. Yeah, it's Ray okay, with I'm the hiss. Okay, I'm trying to turn off. Yeah. Might have been my fan. There we go. And just jump in when you want to talk, or when you run out of breath. Uh, 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 let me see here. Where were we? So, so, uh, 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 you Harley know, Davidson. All I'm saying is this is the first example of a company sending some of their business across the pond uh, to not get hit by the tariffs because they specifically targeted, I think, uh, uh, Harley Davidson, didn't they? Yeah. Because, well, not specifically, but they, they, that's their decision, their business decision. Um, no, 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 but I'm already, saying Harley they, Davidson. I think there was one. That Harley did. Davidson was being banned by certain countries because of the. It's an, a distinct American product. I I, I was uh, in a in a uh, Harley store in Paris in the Bastille area to buy a T-shirt, mm -hmm. uh, a Harley T-shirt. Yeah, and uh, I noticed that the Harleys, uh, uh, the prices were much higher in france than they were in the states uh i don't know it's if it's because uh, i would assume that there's a tariff i yeah. owned a french car at one time and uh this car had an american engine yeah and, and they used to pay a tax to get the american engine to france mm -hmm. do whatever they did to it make it in the car and then send it back to the united states uh, and they were paying like a double tariffs and that was in 1960 when my my car was made Wow. But they're uh, yeah. they're paying a six percent now, and it's going to go up to thirty one percent to get uh, the Harleys over there. So what they're doing is taking it over there to build it there to avoid that thirty one percent increase. Well, that would make sense, uh, Patrick. That's why Pat it's a business decision by him. Right, but and Trump's threat was if you bring those products back to this country, he was going to put a a big tariff on it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, Patrick. Right. I don't think it had anything to do with whether it is an American uh, item or not. It had to do with the cost of steel. And like Kevin was saying, it building them over there makes it cheaper. It had not, not they weren't banning them or trying to outlaw them or whatever in Europe 
you know, in a matter of cost building them, and Harley Davidson had specifically said it was the cost of steel and aluminum that was mm. going to make them cost more over in Europe. And right. it was it's something like $2,200 more per bike was right. going to be cost. So right. it was a business decision made by Harley Davidson to build them over there for the European market and they'll still build them here. The other thing you, that you have to take into consideration is everybody on this panel is about the last grouping of people that would ride a Harley um, because most younger people, millennials and younger, they don't have any desire for Harley Davidson, whether it be by name or even cross rockets. I mean, m motorcycles in general are going out of vogue and I see younger people like in the Milwaukee area riding mopeds and you know, uh, those scooters mm -hmm. things versus mm -hmm. motorcycles. Everybody mm -hmm. on a motorcycle looked like everybody on the panel. Uh, by the way, I've been told, uh, by the way, Ray Renati wrote and said he's signal is too weak inside the gym, so he's just going to watch. Right, mm. Ray? I guess. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, in San Francisco, supposedly they're having an infestation of mopeds. Like crazy. Uh, they also have these uh, scooters. These scooters, and the people yeah. leave yeah. them on the sidewalk anywhere they want. I noticed uh, near my apartment building, there are these bikes that uh, people uh, rent for a dollar. And uh, I think it's called a Lime bike or something. Well, and, yeah, here, here, we have, uh, here, here we have here we have here we have city bike, and we have these racks all over town, and then you yeah. put a uh, you know a credit card in the thing and take a bike and take it somewhere and leave it off at another rack downtown. It'd be or nice if they had racks for these ones, but they don't. People oh, just right. put the kickstand down in the middle of the sidewalk and they leave it, and uh, it's uh, you know it it impedes the the sidewalk. I'll tell you. And, I'll tell you what, oh. though. I'll tell you. Uh, the fact is that these uh, uh, the latest plan that I heard is somebody is proposing here in New York that they do the same thing with small cars, that they will have small cars you can rent by putting money in, the, and they'll be parked on the streets, and people are going going. I don't know. That's going to get already sketchy. They're kind of doing that with uh, these these. Uh, uh, what do oh, they call oh, them? Yeah, zip cars. Zip, zip cars. cars yeah. I don't see that many zip cars anymore, though. I I tried. To, I we signed up for. Here. I find up. Uh, signed up for zip car once, and the whole thing was so. I don't know. Difficult, in yeah. in handling, uh, because you had go to back to these. Go back to the tariffs here, because I, there was yeah. a lot of stuff I saw in yeah. these tariffs. It's kind of mm -hmm. scary stuff. Yeah. Garbage. They stopped taking our garbage. They stopped taking that our was recycles. The Chinese. Uh, they they stopped, they, they, yeah, yeah. They it stopped matter. everybody's garbage. Yeah, and, and th there's garbage starting to back up in our country here right now. There's electronics starting to back up in the country. There's a lot of shit that's starting to back up in our country right now because of these tariffs, and it's going to get ugly here pretty quick. Well, there are industries that are saying, like the scuba industry is saying, hey, we should not be buying uh, fins and goggles that come in plastic packages, uh, that uh, these packages end up uh, in, the, in the garbage and end up in the water. And, yeah. Uh, and, there, you know, there's so a lot of shit that's getting backed up right now. That I saw a thing on the garbage that these guys were taking, what, 100, 100 million tons? or It was a lot. It was a lot. And yeah. now they're taking zero. Yeah. 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 Now, anyway, just containers and containers yeah. of stuff, and yeah, and because you see, the Chinese were sending over their products. What happened? What happened to everybody? Oh, there they are. We, Either for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, yeah, for some reason, <clears throat> Skype froze for a moment there. Now it's freezing. It, some of it's freezing again. But Jeff's okay. Are you okay, Phil? Yeah, We're you're fine. fine. Yeah, everybody's yeah. fine now. It, it was like this momentary freeze on Skype. I it was I've, just me. I've never seen that before. I never really? seen it before and seen it come back. So congratulations to Skype. <laughs> you know. Usually I'd have oh. to, you know, 
Do we want to talk about garbage or? Uh, no, I, do I, I, I want to talk. talk I'll, I'll talk about garbage. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Uh, <laughs> I thought she was quite classy in the way she handled. Oh herself. yeah. Uh, well, yes, uh, uh, Patrick. I have absolutely no problem with what happened to her, so long as when it happened to a Democrat, that the Democrat don't say a word. And everybody is on a solid, level playing field that everybody can get kicked out of every place for any fucking belief they have, whether they're gay, whether they're black, whether they're Jewish, whether they're Catholic, whether they're disabled. I think it's wonderful. I say if you work for the Obama administration, people should be able to kick you out. You work for the Trump administration, kick you out. Maxine Waters, because that wig looked fake as shit, <laughs> kick her. Yeah, that's well, right. You know, no, and, and for her, I'm, for I'm her to, to even Pelosi, even Pelosi and Schumer are coming out against Maxine Waters and her uh, her Nazi tactics. Okay, but here, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. I said this earlier. With, I said this earlier with uh, with uh, Durst. And I think it, it's worth saying again. I I think that actually they were doing her a big favor because telling her she couldn't eat, I think could save her life. Did you? I mean, know what she really needs she really needs to lose some weight. Okay, you know and what, I think that, you know that will what help. Serve at the Red Hen, huh? I, I believe it's the Red Hen is an organic. Uh, a, a restaurant that serves healthy food. Oh, well, and damn it, if I were her, I wouldn't even want to eat in that shitty place. Well, you know? yeah, well, you know, you know, you know what, you know what organic food is? It grows in dirt. Okay, yeah. so you know, well, it's fresh dirt. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I, I felt about Sarah Huckabee Sanders, and I mean, she did. She just got up and walked out. She didn't make a big deal out of it and I think who made a big deal out of it were people who saw it happen yeah. uh, uh, but the staff followed her to the next place well the thing is what I'm saying is that that uh, you know it's one thing it, to she, not serve them but the staff followed her see, I, I, had a, to I, I had a funny you know take on that whole you know gay cake deal you know that if I were gay and the guy said he didn't want to bake me a cake because I was gay and I was having a gay wedding, then I would just tell him to go fuck himself, turn around, walk out, go down the street and buy a cake from somebody else. But instead, what happens when you said but instead this became a big deal and, and it almost makes me think that it was kind of a setup that they knew yeah. this guy wouldn't bake a cake for gay people. So they went and did it. So they could then have a case to take to the Supreme Court. If you send if you send food back in a restaurant, what can they uh, do when they bring it back out? What do you mean? They it spit the food. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, I if always you, worried if about you want that. Cake and you don't like the, you know, you don't like the gay thing. That ain't frosting know, so on they, they, they ain't frosting on your cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need this white frosting over here. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I uh, I just I got the frosting for you. You know, I I I, <laughs> I, your doggy I, I think they had the right to tell her we don't want to serve you, uh, because just like I booed Henry Kissinger in a theater once because I felt that uh, these people shouldn't go anywhere without knowing that there are people who don't like what they're doing. Okay, no, I think they, no, they, they shouldn't they shouldn't go places and think they've got a free pass. That uh, they that they know, have to they have to they have to live. You know. They have if they if they're doing something, maybe they believe in it. But if they're doing it, then they have to live with the consequences. I of, think when it's off hours, it. it's off hours. Well, I don't think it's off hours. I I think that when you're impa family, impacting people, you're impacting even the mafia. Even the mafia didn't do that to, to people that were you know. Hey, we're, we won't off this guy. Uh, because he's with his family. We'll yeah. wait till he's walking down the street. Yeah. Uh, hello over to Renee, who's just joined us. Uh, Renee? I had his hand. Yes. Uh, hey, can you guys see me? No, no not yet. No. We still see right, an eagle. Tell me when that's going to happen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, Jeff, you have your hand up. Oh, it was Patrick. Well, oh, I, uh, yeah, uh, Patrick was Jeff can go. Go ahead. Okay, Jeff. Oh. 
Phil, we're, we're listening to you, even though you're obnoxious sometimes. And, yeah. and we accept that, even though it's late times. That, that's because... Times. I know, but that's because Alex uh, is a different kind of lefty. He really, um, uh, he really uh, doesn't want to just hear from the choir. Uh, he, he wants all points of view, and I think he's, uh, that's what makes him unique. Well, uh, well. Yeah. That, that's what makes, for, that's what, what makes a good show. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to say that with yeah. you there. Patrick? Yeah. Um, so, I, are you okay, though, Alec, if you have Democrats getting called out in public forum? Uh, I I have no in in a situation like that I have no I have no complaint about it I think if pe people find it d difficult for them to abide by a certain person in their restaurant because they don't agree with their politics and because of what they're doing and impacting their lives then I think they have the right to do that yeah now, whether the Democrat or Republican but they probably be Republican because Democrats don't do that oh of course not. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, they only do it to Republicans. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hello, hey, Renee. Hey. Where are you? You're. You seem to be having some kind of difficulties. Are you on a cell phone? Well, uh, so what? Can you guys see any photo from me, or is it just I, my I, eagle? I just, I just see your, your eagle. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Renee's trying to do something, but she's not smart enough to do it. So yeah. give me a minute or two. Well, yeah. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can are you still on oh, a? Okay. Are you still on a cycle? I yeah, am. He's putting you to shame there, Alex. How long? Been, uh, well, I did. I did. I, I have to say this. Be, uh, uh, turn yourself sideways there. Uh, okay. Yes, we can see you now, Renee, but you have to turn oh. sideways so we get the panoramic view. I am sideways. No, no the no, other way. Can't. I know you're sideways. Uh, uh, yeah, you, you're sideways, but you got to. We, we don't to want you. We, don't do what we. Oh, oh, I see. It's not. Go to it's, landscape. it's not. Yeah, it's not working in landscape. Okay, do it non-landscape, Renee. If do you, you see me at all? Or do yeah, you I see you. Yeah, we see sideways. you. But you, if you okay. lay down on the ground, you'll be straight up. So yeah. the thing is, is I don't think this Brahmin thing allows that to happen at the same time, which I have to figure out how to make Oh, there you are. There, there you go. go. There it is. There you are. There you are. You watch because she's yeah. doing it in portrait mode. Taller. But let's see your face. Let's see your face, Renee. Well, no, you don't need to see certain, me. Hey. You're, you're looking at Hilo. Oh, okay. I'm looking at Hilo. <laughs> She's walking through Hilo, and then we got him on a bike in, uh, in where is it? Uh, how, how many minutes you, have you done so Palo far? Alto. How, Palo how, Alto. How many minutes did you do on it just now? I, uh, 25 and a half minutes. So 25 far. and a half minutes. I did 40 minutes the other day. Okay, I'm going to go but 45. But I, I, then I did 20 yesterday, yesterday, and I didn't do any today because I was busy getting the phone and the oh, iPad. Here's, Hey, we're getting it's joined by the, the Broken Heart Club. Wait a minute, why are we getting an echo? I don't know. It might be me, but yeah. But yeah. anyway, so we're and we're. Anybody getting... see the cruise ship all the way over there? No, but, you, no, but do yourself in portrait on. mode because we can't. We it's not working in Sideways landscape. Sideways again. There yeah, you go. There That's we go. Just a stupid statement. Okay, we've just been joined by Jack Bishop. Hello, Jack. Good evening. Good evening, and good evening. Yes. I was just wondering, why do we think that politicians should not have to encounter people who oppose them? I didn't say that. I, I didn't say you did, did I? Their private lives and with wait their family. Wait a minute, you have no private life once you step into the public no, eye. I don't agree with you. Good, we disagree. You want to fight about it? Jump uh, off. Uh, you know, I'm getting my stint on uh, the 5th of July. I'll fight with you on the 6th. Oh, well, yeah, good. You had to get good. good. You're getting, he's getting a stint. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a stint. <laughs> but I mean, no, what, 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 what did the doctors say about your heart after you were, you got, uh, took all those? Oh, I have a, um, uh, moderate blockage, uh, and they think think that it's somewhere up that the heart has like these three uh, areas where the blood uh, goes. They think one of them's moderately blocked. Didn't so, we learn there's more than five of those? 
Uh, yeah, but they go in different directions. Oh, wait a minute. Now, we have a couple of people who are, who are heart uh, experts. Yeah. Are heart experts, Jack and Jeff. Jack is better. Huh? Yeah. You know, they told me I was going to get a stint. Yeah. I had moderate blockage. When they yeah. got in there, they found out that I was 70% clogged in all four arteries. Oh, huh. well, that's going to oh, make, yeah. that makes Phil feel yeah, just well, great. That's what I'm afraid of, actually. Well, you know, no, 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 it's nothing to be afraid of. Well, one way they crack you, and the other way they just go up your wrist. Yes, uh, you know, you know, I was cracked and spread open like a Thanksgiving turkey. Yeah. But given the choice between what they told me could have happened, mm -hmm. I was grateful, man. Yeah. You know, uh, you don't want to be walking down the street and and die like I came close to doing they told me well uh, they felt that based on my uh, treadmill that, mm -hmm. uh, they, they they think it's it's moderate but uh, uh, so what they're gonna do is they go in with the catheter uh, catheter in your wrist now. right and uh, they go up to the heart and they put some dye in there. Yeah. And then they said uh, there's a balloon and a uh, and a stent that they can do at the same time. It's called a stent, find... Phil. It's called a stent. stent. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, it's a nuclear thing. Uh, uh, and <laughs> nuclear. Oh. Yeah. By the way, Renee. Nuclear. It's a heart thing. Yeah. Renee, Renee's in hey, the car Phil, right now. Six weeks before I had all that done to me, I passed a heart stress test. Really? Will you stop this? You're going to make him feel horrible, Jack. Well, he's a, he's well I just before I, I had a stress he's... test and I passed it. And uh, hey, when I had the stent, it turned out to be a quadruple collapse of my innards or whatever. Yeah. yeah well, you know, he's a, he's a strong Trump supporter. He can handle it. Yeah, well, I can handle the stent. He's got Trump care, which means go ahead and die as quick as you can. Yeah. Well, you know, well, I'm uh, I'm resigned to the stent. Uh, you know, uh, matter of fact, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Well, I was resigned to the stent too. I mean, put it this way: when they oh, told boy. me uh, uh, you're going to get a, a a stent, I said, "Well, hey, you know, I was 64 um, uh, years old." I said, "That's a gold card for a guy my age." Right. And the funny thing is, I'm 64 also. Yep. Yeah. Well, my heart, my my heart is as sound as a dollar. So well, you know. they they said the heart was extremely strong. Uh, that uh, that I had no heart and no lung issues other than this moderate blockage. Yeah. Well, I wish you well, my friend. Well, I have I a mild well. aortic stenosis, which I has yeah. not changed changed one degree or something in like four years which is minor he said you'd have to go i'm a, at a 12 you'd have to go to a 50 before we even worry so i you know it's it's just a normal thing that happens as you get older but uh, outside of that he said you know my whole uh, heart system is fine you know and he's a cardiologist yeah you know. well I, I i went to the cardiologist i picked this one because the appointment time was uh was the one i needed yeah yeah uh let me uh, by the way let me ask ray a question there ray uh, how many minutes you up to now must be at least 30. how many how many minutes you up to ray i can't yeah, hear we can't right. hear you you'd have to you're on mute uh mute. Yeah, well uh i'd say he's up to about 30 now Use okay, your Alex, sorry. Yeah. I'm at uh, 31 minutes and 20 seconds. And, and what kind of uh, what kind of uh, th thing do you have on there? Is it it's random a, or is it? Oh, it's a Garmin. No, 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 no. What's the thing? What's the thing? Like you press like what program you want on the cycle? Oh no, I'm like on a Schwinn spinning bike, just a regular bike. Oh, I see. It doesn't have that. Yeah. Old school. I just I just do whatever I want. Oh, I see. Okay, I put mine on random, and then I sit there and just pant. Oh, yeah, this is just a this is more like a regular yeah. bicycle. Let my heart yeah. start pounding like a little gerbil, you know. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, uh, Jeff. No, I I normally set mine when I uh, work out is up to three. Whatever three angles is that it? Mm -hmm. what they call. Is that for the running thing? Yeah. Yeah, I don't do a treadmill. 
Uh, no, you don't. Nah, because yep. I figure the if elliptical. I, 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 you know, what? If I slow down, I could fall. What? The elliptical. Uh, no, the, it's I, a machine. I just, that, I just, you, I'm you, very happy to get on the bike. I sometimes use the regular bike. Sometimes I use the sitting one where you're kind of like sitting flat. And uh, acidosis I only that. did 20 minutes the other day, and I may only do 20 minutes again tomorrow. I've, I've been pushing myself more than I want to. You know, I don't want to get bored with doing it. Well, okay. I think the bicycle is tougher on your knees than the elliptical, uh, you know, uh, Yeah, but machine. my knees are fine. I have no problem. Oh, man, the elliptical is way worse on my knees. Yeah. For me. What, the, the bike's elliptical? way easier. Yeah. The, the bike's way easier on my well, knees. Well, at least we've I just gone what. from discussing bad health to discussing good health. So that's, yeah. a, that's a step forward for this program. Yeah. You know. No, well, I, I hate, i got to mention I this. I hate working out, and I don't know why I do it. Uh, I love it. You know, I it's wish like I were drug. addicted to it. I wish I thought it was terrific. Every time I sit there pedaling, I'm going, why the fuck am I doing this? Don't you get the endorphins uh, uh, by uh, 25 no. or 40 minutes? Nah. Yeah. No. No. I, if, if I could really get high, uh, I probably would. You know, I'd probably love it. But I can't. You know, so, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to do anything except just give myself a little exercise. But I'll tell you, on the days now that I don't, work out i take a walk you know i take yeah. a, a decent sized walk a couple of miles you know um and that's terrific you know that's yeah. it's it's okay it works fine for me so i i don't know you know it's uh uh but i tomorrow i i may not be able to work out again so i you know because hey, I got Alex, things i have to do when well, you get over 65 walking is the best exercise you can do yeah yeah, but I've got these feet problems now too. So, but, oh, I'm, that I'm, sucks. I'm, I'm, but I'm going to the uh, the neurologist, who will tell me it's a nerve in your back or something, you know, pinch nerve, and then he's going to tell me I have to have an MRI, but I can't do an MRI. Why not? I I panic. Claustrophobic. Just panic. I, I was taught. I was. I have morbid claustrophobia. Night. I mean, and I know I have it. I was yeah. with two friends last night, both of them. Uh, one of them had a uh, MRI that day, yesterday, yeah. uh, uh, for prostate cancer uh, to, to check it out. Yeah. And, the, and the other one, uh, they were both talking about how they, uh, they couldn't go in an MRI because of the claustrophobic. Yeah. Uh, but they can, they, they can, they can, they can, hey, Alex, they, they can, they uh, try the open MRI? Uh, there's only one or two of them in New York City. Uh, but I, and I may try it, but I think they can. He can find the same stuff out by doing a CT scan, and those I don't panic at, you know. So he, they could probably do. He could probably do a CT scan and find out pretty much what he has to find out. What he can find out with an MRI, you know. So. Yeah. Uh, or I'm just going to refute. Is this? You know. uh, wait a minute. Is the CT scan for bones or is it for uh, muscle and things like that? It can. It, it, it can do muscles and stuff. What well, Jeff? Do you know about this? Not sure. Uh, I've never used it that much, so I don't know everything about it. But I think it can do lots of things. Yeah, I mean, really? when I had when I had when I had my uh, my kidney stones, they put did a CT scan. You know, yeah, they, it does everything. They shot it does me. Them all. It do, what'd you uh, say, Kevin? It does everything. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when they wanted to see if I had bone cancer, they used a CT scan on me and yeah. put uh, uh, some yeah. sort of radioactive dye in my. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, yes, say Ray. Um, I just wanted to say, you know, the MRI is open at the head usually, and the first time I went in, I, I was like, I was panicked. I didn't realize it was totally open behind me. And the next time, they just gave me like a short-acting benzo, like a half of one, and I and all my panic went away. Now I've had so many, I don't care. But you can take those before. Well, I don't. I don't want anything. I don't want to be in that thing. You know. Oh, okay. I, yeah. You know, it, it's just the idea panics me. Now, if I know my head is out, say from my yeah. shoulders up, uh, yeah. I could probably live with that. Oh, yeah. okay. That I could yeah, live that, with. Yeah, you know, I, I get it. Yeah. You know, those CT scans, if they put the dye in, though, Alex, just, you might get really nauseous. Well, I've, so I've, tell I've, them. I, I, I've, done, it. I've done CT scans, and uh, eh, nothing. <laughs> I've, I've, I do them just fine. Yes. Patrick, oh, okay. probably another guy who's had a few CT scans in his time. Yeah, CT and MRI. Just 
as soon as Ray said nauseous, it reminded me I had a uh, MRI done before I decided to become crippled, um, where they locked my head in a metal cage to keep it from moving. Yeah. And then they shot some dye in me, and I got so nauseous that I was afraid I was going to puke mm -hmm. inside of this cage all over my own face, you know, and the nurse who administered the guy, I don't know what she did, but she talked me out of the nausea. Yeah. And then I was able to go into the MRI hey. for 90 minutes, Alex. Wow. Oh, wow. Hey, I, I got sick like that, too, and she talked me down and then waited till she got me out, and I threw up all over the place. I, I never threw up. They, they went... Oh, what, I from an, You threw up I from... A, you, wait a minute. You threw up from an MRI? No, it was a CT scan CT. where they put dye. dye. Yeah, well, I've had the dye, and I never had a problem. Never had a oh. problem. It just... It's a little yeah. warm well, feeling. It affects other people. A little warm feeling. Yeah. 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 What? what? What do you say, Jack, uh, uh, Jeff? Jeff. Yeah. I, th I think that the CAT scan can actually uh, affect your brain if you have it in enough times or yeah but I'm, i you know i've had it i've had a cat scan Turn, maybe four times in my life it turns you yeah that's why they don't want to do them all the time there's a ton of radiation in a cat scan that's yeah. why they they always want to limit them yeah the yeah. first time that i had it i mean i was like 30 years old and they were just using me as kind of a yeah well marjorie test. yeah it would work. Marjorie oh. does MRIs, and she says she falls asleep in them. You know. I did a couple yeah. times. Yeah. You know, uh, but I just they make I, so much damn noise, it, and I, you can't move. You know. Now the open hmm. MRI, you just sit there, right, and it goes around you or something. You know. It, it, uh, they just make a lot of noise. Yeah. 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 But you know, if I can have an open MRI, that's fine too. But. You know, I don't know. They might be able to figure. He might be able to figure out what's wrong with me without any of that. You know, just by the symptoms. So, well, we'll see. But uh, I go into my neurologist the day after you get your stent. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, on the sixth. Yeah. So do you have to take a day off or something? Is there going to be any? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. Uh, you know, that was the first available date. I said, hey, you have July fourth. No, they didn't have that one, but <laughs> I was taking that day off anyway. Yeah, but, yeah, but, uh, but yeah, you take a little time off. What the hell? You yeah. can do it, right? Well, uh, yeah, Jeff's got something to say. Yeah. Yeah, I, the stents usually go pretty quick. And yeah, I, I asked them if they would uh, give me the uh, like a CD or a video of uh, of the procedure because uh, I guess oh, you could do it right on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. put it on YouTube. No, 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 no. I want mine. You know, I want to. I want. I, oh, I on your own. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Um, do Do you know who the uh, cardiologist is going to do it? Yeah, uh, they told me it wasn't the gal I spoke to uh, yesterday. It was uh, this guy called Fowler. I guess he does them all, uh, and so uh, I'll I'll look him up. He just just mentioned the best thing he does. You know, it's amazing though. You 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 go to Kaiser, and that is socialized medicine. Uh, not really. Uh, <laughs> it, it's uh, uh, all it is is uh, your. He doesn't want to go now. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no yeah. It, it's not socialized because I pay for it. You know, <laughs> it, it, the government's not paying for it. I pay for it. No, but that does not, not that does not and not make it socialized medicine. You know, one card, you get in line. <laughs> I'm part of a co-op, and uh, you think a co-op is a socialized business? Oh yeah. No, you fucking socialist! God damn you! <laughs> they started in Berkeley, Phil. All those no, it, it's, it's all the economy of scale. Uh, yes, uh, Vernon, you got your hand up, and Patrick, and then I think we got to go. Well, I just wanted to add, I, add, I looked this up, and the, the fake news about Canada burning down the White House. Yeah. Canada didn't become a country until 1867, and the White House was burned in 1814. Well, there you have it, folks. Okay. Uh, and Patrick? Yep. Anyway, I'll, 
I'll pick it up maybe tomorrow. It, it, oh, you'll pick it up tomorrow. Hey, listen, this has been uh, this has been a good one tonight. Nice overall discussion. And uh, I hope that the uh, politics that prevail help Sarah Huckabee Sanders to lose some weight because she is a little on the chubby side. Uh, let's uh, thank shame. Vernon Nunn for being with us tonight. Good night, Vernon. Got to say good night. And- there we go. And uh, Patrick, That's thank F-U. you. Uh, and uh, still doing the bicycle. He's probably up to yeah. like 40 minutes now. Four, 43 minutes. 43, 43 minutes is Ray Renati. You're going to wear me out doing that. Phil Meyer, <laughs> thank you so much. Kevin, always great to see, see you. Tomorrow. Just feel free. Feel free tomorrow night? Yeah. Okay, so everybody feel free to call. Uh, 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 but uh, that's it uh, for tonight, and that's it for our panel. Hey, panel, give everybody a, a big wave goodbye, okay? There they go. Don't they look great? Okay. Hey, that's it for us tonight. Uh, uh, we're going to be back here again uh, tomorrow night, but uh, right after us, uh, Jack uh, Bishop is here with uh, the uh, uh, intersection. And then at 1 o'clock this morning is Connections. And then tomorrow night, well, there is no, there, there's a, the uh, franchise MC is, does a sports show called The Arena, which will go on at 8.30 Eastern Daylight Time. But then at 9.30, uh, for two nights, uh, Damien isn't going to be doing his show. So there'll be a little space in there, like missing a tooth in your mouth. And then we'll be back again tomorrow night, 10 o'clock. Same time, same station in life, and in the meantime, as always, if you see her, you better tell her I love her, okay? Bye.